is in the air, supposedly. Yeah. It <laughs> Well, it's Valentine's Day. We hope we hope it's in the air. That do, what does true longevity, though? True commitment in a relationship really take, particularly as nearly 47% of us in the population single. Well, our very own Mike Polk Jr. met one local couple who have defied the odds during their 70 years of marriage. Romance, as depicted in the movies, tends to be well, very romantic. The characters fall fast and hard, and everyone has the perfect line at the right time. He's looking at you, kid. But of course, movie relationships are very different from those in real life, which are not all roses, and which tend to last longer than a neat two-hour runtime. In some cases, much longer. Take this lovely couple, current residents at Brookdale Senior Living in Westlake. I'm Jean Lynn. And you gentlemen call her here? Martin Lynn. That's Martin Lynn. Jean and Martin were married more than 70 years ago in 1953, when Dwight Eisenhower had just been elected president, colored television was just on the horizon, and we still only had 48 states. Rather than being brought together by romantic fate, Jean says it was simple proximity. Well, he was a neighbor, and all I did was wave hi. <laughs> Do you remember how he asked you to go out on your first date? Or oh, that's another thing. <clears throat> he, he was working a long shift, and he fell asleep, so our first date didn't go through. And while Jean doesn't exactly remember sparks flying, they clearly had a connection. What's a, an average date for you guys back in the day? We did a lot of just taking rides. Yeah. Because he didn't like movies. Mm. And he didn't dance. <laughs> wow, how did I stay with him? <laughs> <laughs> well, you must really love him. We got along real well. The couple recalls that their wedding day did have a few hiccups. What do you remember about that day? Well, probably we had a band and they didn't show up. How did you get by without music? Well, we had a, a, a cousin that had an accordion. So he sat up on the stage and played the accordion. Wow. Did you enjoy your wedding? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Good time? We had a good time. The Lynns say that they've had many ups and downs since that day, but the time has flown by. Does it seem like it's been that long? Well, you don't think about it. It just keeps going. This seems like a good time to point out just what an impressive anomaly Gene and Martin really are in their matrimonial endurance. According to the most recent census data, the U.S. marriage rate recently hit an all-time low, and the median duration of current marriages is just 19.8 years which equates to roughly 28% of Martin and Jean's tenure. So what's the secret? The Lynn say there are a few keys to long-lasting love. Well, you have to have a lot of patience. They also say shared interests are important. Like camping, that was really big. We did it about 50 years. Mm -hmm. It's also clear that maintaining humor has aided in the couple's success. Are you very happy in your marriage? Well, I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the young people should hear that. Absolutely. They give they up should. on little things that they just can't handle. Gotta you know? stick with you it gotta, sometimes. <laughs> you gotta you stick do. with it. You know? The romantic leads in Hollywood movies have it easy. In the end, they kiss, the credits roll, and they get to remain there, frozen in our memories, forever young and in love. But that's cheating, and it's not how love works. Love is accommodation in exchange for good company. It's easy to fall in love. The accomplishment is in staying that way. Some manage to fare better than others. Whether you're celebrating or out there hating tonight, happy Valentine's Day. This is Mike for 3 News. <laughs> wow. Yes. They were Good for them. It was, it was inspiring and also educational because, as I said, love is often depicted as this very rosy thing, but then when you, the movie ends and the credits roll, then you don't see what happens to them afterwards, That's typically. Very, that's very and true. there's laundry afterwards, and there's kids, and there's chores, and there's all this stuff. And it takes some resilience and it takes some stick to it of this. And there was no, there were not a lot of giddy stories from those two, but they, <laughs> but I'm telling you, they were, they were still, they had their thing and they were still very much in love. And it was nice. It was uh, cool spending some time with them. Yeah. I love, by the way, your, your jacket there. It's, I think well, it's very Valentine's appropriate Day. for the Obviously, occasion. It's you know, a nice red. St. Valentine's Velvet or. Obviously. I'm Notice not sure who's not wearing any red at all. I, yeah. yeah. I know. And she said when she saw wow, me today, what a Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Yeah. That's, that's what that's she it. called me. I know. And I said, no. Hashtag Valentine's Great. I do too. I, yes. I just don't have red in my wardrobe. Well, I'm sorry. You're never going to make it to 71 years. <laughs> well, that kind of play. But he knows what the line is. Well. Whatever he's asked. Well, I have to be. Yeah, there it is. Well, <laughs> I have to be. Him. Yeah, it was fun. Mike, thanks. That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks, guys. That. Thanks, Mike. Bye.